people and welcome to my youtube channel if it is your first time here be sure to subscribe like this video uh, press notification bell as well as leave a comment down below so that i can greet you and welcome you to my channel if it isn't your first time here thank you so much for tuning back in make sure to like this video and leave a comment down below as well so it's been a while since i sat down in this particular space of my house to record um i've been recording outside as well as um in my room and i just thought today would be good to record here as well as a simple fact that i haven't recorded for a very long time so here we are um so today's video is going to be called what to do when you're feeling down um the reason why i wanted to start off with this video is because one of the one of the reasons why i haven't really been recording and um you know as i was I, I feel like at some point I was quite consistent and started posting a bit more, got used to the camera and stuff like that. And then I went through this period where I was just like, bleh. <laughs> so um, it really is what to do when you're feeling down. Um, so I just thought it would be a good video to come back in, to get the groove back. Um, so yeah, um, so the very first thing I would say to do when you are feeling down if you are religious if you believe in god is to pray read your bible meditate on the word and listen to worship music there is something about just praying and you know sometimes we feel like people won't understand what we're going through people won't understand the feelings and sometimes you just don't have words to express but just pray read the bible the bible has literally the answers to everything really so read the bible meditate on the word listen to some worship music some worship music can can relate to how you're feeling and can uplift you so the second thing would be to call a friend a family member or someone close to you that you can easily talk to about what you're feeling it could be a, uh, your best friend it could be your closest friend it could be your partner your boyfriend your whoever you feel very comfortable to open up to just speak to them and they could easily you know change your mood and make you laugh and then the little things like that um could help you know um help you change your mood and feel better third thing would be to listen to music and that there's something about music that just brings brings you joy and you know like if you like dancing go right ahead and dance and just have a party in your house if you're by yourself or in your room wherever but just play your favorite songs obviously not sad songs because if you play sad songs when you're feeling down it's only gonna take you is it's only gonna make you sadder so try not to try not to listen to sad songs when you're not feeling great so listen to like uplifting songs like your favorite songs and dance along to them sing along to them and you will see that there's something about music you will see that as you are listening to these songs and dancing along to them like you you'll be you'll feel better another thing would be to read a book if you if you like reading i think reading books especially like in the actual book form sometimes it helps you deta detach away from what is going on and then if you like if you really are a bookworm you probably are going to get into that book so much that you will forget what is going on around you so i would i would advise you to read a book um and just you know switch off from the world for a little bit um go out for a walk this one is really like it's very simple but there's something about being outside and getting a, a breath of fresh air is that the saying a breath of fresh air yeah so go outside and just you know enjoy the nature as my mother would say enjoy the nature hug a tree or something hug a tree, um, sit outside, get out of your the four walls of your house and just, you know, breathe in some fresh air. Another thing would be to cook or bake your favorite either meal or treat. Some people really enjoy cooking. If you enjoy cooking, challenge yourself and try to cook something that you're either craving or that you really love. That's your favorite meal. So try and make that or bake your favorite treat. I mean, I really wouldn't be mad to make an upside down pineapple cake if I'm not feeling great and have some like vanilla ice cream on the side and, you know, maybe some mangoes as well. That sounds like happiness to me. So, yeah. Um, 
watch a movie or binge watch a series or a show sometimes you know watch your favorite movie again try not to watch a sad movie because you're gonna just cry so watch your favorite movie or like a funny movie if you like comedy or just watch a movie or binge a series or a show so that you just have some sort of distraction and entertainment um, the other one would be draw paint or coloring coloring sounds like such a childish child wow try again coloring sounds like such a childish thing to do but it is literally the most relaxing thing i find to do when i'm having a really bad day other thing that you can do when you're feeling down is to journal and probably the 25th time i'm talking about journaling on this channel but i love journaling journal your feelings journal what you're feeling journal how you're feeling journal why you're feeling that way just write it all down take it off your chest and just write it all down close the book and get on with your day it there's something so um what's the word i'm looking for liberating about journaling it just it's just so freeing to take it all off for me anyway i don't know if it works like that for everybody but if i journal my feelings it helps me because it's not just all up in my head so journal your feelings listen to a podcast um sometimes as well podcasts if you don't want to listen to music listen to a podcast and just you know there's so many podcasts out there there are encouraging podcasts there are funny podcasts there are um, business podcasts the christian po podcast so just find a podcast and listen to it and you will you, you you'll feel better i feel like you'll feel better um make yourself look good this one sounds so like oh blah 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 but let me tell you something there there are days when i wake up and i feel like crap and I'm like, no, I am not gonna go go on with the day feeling like this. And let me tell you, a little eyeshadow, a little clean my eyebrows, bit of foundation, as simple as literally foundation, do my eyebrows, put put some mascara on, lip gloss. It makes you feel so much better. If you if you look good, you feel good. That's a saying, surely. I'm pretty sure it's a saying out there if you look good you feel good so make sure you look good whether it's wearing your favorite t-shirt whether it's wearing your favorite outfit whether it's doing your hair a favorite a certain way but you know look good to feel good that literally helps it literally changes your mood i don't know what it is about looking in the mirror and being like yes honey and that literally switches your mood. So another thing would be take a day off and rest. Um, sometimes it's very important to switch off and actually just rest. If you're able to, obviously it's not, it's easier said than done, but take a day off and just allow yourself to rest and relax. So yeah. The next thing would be to work out. Working out really helps. I don't know what it is about the sweat to be adrenaline and everything like that but working out really helps de-stress and like feel better so go to the gym work out at home whether it's a zumba lesson whether it's a it's a actual workout lesson whether it's it's whatever but like work out and you will feel a lot better um take yourself out even if it's just for coffee um spend time with yourself obviously like you know you're not feeling great Take yourself out to your little your favorite coffee spot or your favorite i don't know but like take yourself out take yourself out of your house because i feel sometimes when we're not in a good mood in our houses it makes it even worse because you feel like you're stuck in the four walls of your house so take yourself out and yeah enjoy your own company um the next one is have a pamper evening or a pamper day if you're able to take yourself to a spa but if you're not able to a simple face mask can make you feel so much better like literally simple face mask warm towel on your face pop some cucumbers on your eyes and you know steam your face or whatever that's a pamper session run yourself a bath like these little things that we tend to not 
to take for granted, not not even not to take for granted, that we tend to take for granted can literally switch up your mood. Wow. And the very last point is go shopping. I mean, who doesn't like a bit of re retail therapy? Um, when you're not feeling well, re retail therapy, I cannot even say the damn word, but when you're not feeling well, just go shopping. Like, I'm sure we all like a little bit of splurge, splurge spending. Um, but yeah, those were just a few ideas of what to do when you are feeling down. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.